These are the last images just released of a journalist who was trying to spotlight a ruthless military crackdown. The army has arrived, Kenji Nagai says, and they are heavily armed. Within minutes, he'd be shot dead. Nagai filming his own report in front of protesters in Myanmar. A selfie-style narration to camera just moments before he was hit by a bullet. This now famous picture shows how he fell right where he was filming, still holding his camera despite the fatal wound. Standing over him, a soldier with a gun. <laughs> they are images from 2007, during the height of an uprising against Myanmar's military hunter, called the Saffron Revolution after the colour of the monks' robes who were central to the movement. Many died, and today many more are still dying under the shadow of military rule in a country riven by a complex conflict the world seems powerless to end. By one estimate, 30,000 lives have been lost this past two years. The family of Kenji Nagai, who was Japanese, were given his camera and released the chilling images, hoping to refocus world attention on the bloodshed just as he was trying to do. <laughs> Authorities in Myanmar maintain he was killed by a stray bullet, but Japanese media obtained footage showing him pushed to the ground and shot at point-blank range. The picture of him wounded with his camera won a Pulitzer Prize in 2008. Now the world can see what he was doing minutes before. <laughs> New evidence from the hands of a journalist killed doing his job, determined to highlight the brutality of Myanmar's hunter, not knowing that same violence would soon take his life. All right, with that, Keir Simmons joins us tonight from London. Keir, talk to us about how the family was able to get this camera back after 15 years. It's extraordinary, isn't it? 15 years it took uh, to get uh, this uh, camera. A group called the Democratic Voice of Burma, which is another name for uh, Myanmar, says it was involved in the exchange, won't say how it happened, but says that a good citizen was involved. Doesn't want to put that person at risk. And I can imagine uh, that the family think he certainly was a good citizen. Yeah, totally unbelievable. And as you mentioned in the story, the unrest yeah. there in Myanmar, it sort of has resurfaced quite again. Uh, do we know, is there any chance for a resolution to the nightmare for the people there? Oh, it's a nightmare, Tom. It really is. I mean, it's a crisis. It's, it's, it's a disaster. The UN talking about 18 million people needing urgent help. Hundreds of thousands have fled the country, and it just gets worse and worse. There are now different militia in the country. It really is an incredibly uh, complex picture. Now, Myanmar is a strategically important country, but the U.S. seems reluctant to get involved because it's right on China's border. It doesn't want to get into a kind of proxy war there. China uh, worries about getting involved in a quagmire in Myanmar, so the disaster just continues, Tom, while the world just doesn't seem to be paying attention. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.